from zeroshoes.com. I'm the CEO and co-founder, if you don't know. And if you do, that's okay. This is an Ask Me Anything. It's a live event. If you're not watching it live, that's cool. If you are watching it live, you can put in your questions and comments in the questions and comment area, and then I will answer those questions and comments or answer the questions, respond to the comments. If you're not watching it live, you can toss in your comments and questions and somebody will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, but uh, here we are. So if you don't know what Zero Shoes are all about, let me give you the world's fastest little tour about that. And then we'll deal with your questions and comments, etc. cetera. Um, it's simple. Your feet are made to bend and flex and move and feel and Zero Shoes are designed to let them do that. So I don't know if you know this, but a quarter of the bones and joints of your entire body are in your feet and ankles. That's for movement, for bending, for flexing, for balance, agility, mobility. If you don't let your feet do that job, that function tries unsuccessfully to move into your ankle, your knee, your hip, and your back. Not a good thing. Similarly, you may not know that you have more nerve endings in the soles of your feet than anywhere but your fingertips and your lips. That's to tell your brain what your feet are feeling, what you're stepping on, what you're stepping in, so it knows how to help you move better, more efficiently, more enjoyably, more effectively, starting by letting those feet move, balance, agility, mobility. In short, Zero Shoes are designed to let your feet do their job so the rest of your body can do its job. How do we do that? Well, we have a wider foot-shaped toe box. Your toes can spread and relax and do what's natural. You don't do push-ups like this. You do push-ups like this. You shouldn't squeeze your toes together either. Not a good thing for you. Also, a low to the ground for balance and agility. We don't elevate your heel with, you know, something that looks like that because that messes with your posture. We don't have toe spring, that thing that rises up there. That messes with your gait. Um, the soles are flexible enough to let your feet do that bending, moving, and flexing. They're thin enough that you're getting the ground feeling that your brain needs to move your body effectively, but also the grip and protection you're looking for. And our soles are back with a 5,000 mile sole warranty. So uh, what else can I say? Um, oh, you can have more or less barefoot feeling if you want. You can, if you want more, you can take out the included uh, two and a half, three millimeter sock liner, or if you want a little more protection, leave it in. And as you can see behind me, we've got a whole line of casual and performance shoes, boots, and sandals that people use for everything from taking a walk to running ultra marathons, to hanging out with friends, to a night on the town, to CrossFit, paddle boarding, pickleball, fastest growing sport in America, tennis, soccer, um, baseball, football, basketball, you name it. People do our wear shoes, our shoes for those things. Heidi, any plans for zero bike shoes? Really interesting question. Um, we've had some people just wear our regular shoes on with, they don't have, you know, clip, if they have clipless pedals or flat pedals and find that they're getting more power out because they're actually using their feet, which actually engages the rest of their leg as well, instead of just making your feet kind of dumb. But what I'm going to say, Heidi, is go to zeroshoes.com slash feedback. It's in the description and submit your request for what you think a zero bike shoe would uh, look like feel like, what kind of characteristics you think it needs. If you have any examples, throw that in and that's helpful as well. Um, Patinkular, I like that. When's the next sale? Well, um, we don't do very many sales. Our shoes are already A, lower priced than competition and B, compared to things that don't last as long, the net cost can be even lower. I mean, if you buy a $40 shoe and it wears out in two months versus having a zero shoe that may be twice as much, but wears out in a couple of years, you know, it, it can be more expensive, but cost less, if you know what I mean. So here's when we do sales. Normally, we have a product launch sale in the spring when we have our new spring products and another in the fall when we have our fall products. And then, of course, holiday things. We swapped our holiday sale and our fall launch sale. So the big blowout sale that ended and there's not going to be another one of those for a year. But we do have our product launch sales coming up. In fact, um, I'm going to wait for a bit and then I'm going to tease you by showing a couple of the products that are coming up for sale as part of our product launch. And it's just the new stuff that's coming, that's on sale. Uh, and that sale is going to be mid-November. I don't know the exact date yet, but that's the gist of it. So you will find that out in a moment. Uh, Virenji says, what shoes are good for tennis? We have a bunch of professional tennis players and pickleball players in this shoe, the 360. So great. It's made for handling lateral motion for things like CrossFit and parkour and crazy stuff out on the street. But we got a bunch of uh, players who are wearing this, the 360. Uh, let's see. Heidi says, thanks so much. Will do. Um, Jermaine says, by the way, when I'm looking down there, it's because I'm reading the comments coming in. Jermaine, what's happening? Stephen purchased a pair of men's Prio that was needed to be exchanged for a smaller size. I live in Texas. How long is the average time to receive my new order? I don't know. Um, I don't have that information in my brain. I know 
the sale that we just had was so overwhelmingly bigger than what we imagined it was going to be that it took us an extra week and a half to get all of those products shipped, which we did today. So I think we're going to be fully up to speed um, and, and going like our normal one to two day, one to two business day delivery by Friday or Monday. So um, that's the most thing that I know. But double check, feel free to give our customer happiness team a call and they'll be able to look things up. Uh, particular, particular says, okay, thanks. Okay, you're welcome. So I'm going to put that back over there. Um, let's see. Oh, wow. I got to the end of the questions temporarily. I think I did. So, um, all right. I'm going to give you the little sneak preview of two of the products that we're going to be launching in our fall product launch sale that I am really, really excited about. Um, one is available for both men and women. The other is available for just men. My apologies for not having the other uh, multi-gender shoe with me, but I've only got this one with me. So this is a shoe that it's going to be another multi-use shoe and actually could be really good for things like tennis and pickleball, et cetera, because it's made to handle lateral motion. This is um, the Forza Trainer. So Forza is an Italian word, or in Italian, it means force. This is designed for force production. So if you're a lifter, for example, you're going to love this shoe because it lets you get the maximum force into the ground, which gets the maximum force off of the ground. This adjustable instep, instep and heel strap, this lockdown strap, um, what I can tell you is I was stunned when I put this thing on. This thing really, really holds you in place. These midfoot straps, which is iconic on a lot of our shoes, also really give you great lateral support. The sole is designed, again, to be nice and grippy on a, uh, in a court or in a gym. Um, and there's a fake out on this sole that you might have noticed. Might look like we have, and I can show it from this side, might look like we have a midsole, doesn't it? We don't. This is just coming up a little bit. And this piece here is just a very, very thin EVA layer that in the shoe is only this thin. So it's not making things cushioned, but it's giving you just that little bit of extra protection and comfort. And the whole shoe is designed with a booty-like construction, a sock-like construction. You can kind of see this is all essentially one piece and the lining is crazy smooth. All I can tell you is favorite shoe in the office right now. So this is the Forza Trainer coming out in a little over a month. We couldn't be more excited about this one. It's gonna be a blast. All right, I'll show you one more. Um, the Denver is a winter friendly boot that we've had for men, although we have women who wear it as well, if especially women who have wider feet. And we've gotten requests for something that was more water resistant. Um, and we've actually gotten requests from people who live in places or work in places where they needed a leather shoe. So we have a leather version of the Denver. Now, some of you might notice something else about this shoe, other than the fact that it's full grain leather, um, really, really sleek. It doesn't have our normal Warache strap system. And that's because we had a lot of people saying to us, if it's not fully functional, then we don't really need it. And we like the smoother, sleeker look. So we've given the Denver a smoother, sleeker look. This happened with the canvas version as well. Some people discovered that during our recent sale. And now we got a leather version. The thing about the Denver, it has a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A flannel lining. You can, wait, I got to get the development tag out of there. Flannel lining, uh, which is crazy comfy and warm. And I don't know if I can easily pull out the insole. Yep, I can get to it. Um, this has a heat reflective insole to really keep you warm on these colder days that in theory are coming up. I don't know what it's like where you are, but here in Colorado, it was 70 degrees today and it's going to be warmer tomorrow and warmer on Thursday and warmer on Friday. Uh, so rumor has it, it might eventually get cold here, but I don't know when. So these are two of the five products, four or five products. I can't remember that are coming out uh, for fall of 23 that we're launching in about a month. Four is a trainer and the leather version of the Denver. So FYI, um, I normally try to sneak those in just for the fun of it. So by the way, I'm not going to stick around here like all day, all night. Um, this is, I'm here just for you guys. If you have questions or comments, I will address them. And if not, we'll call it a day and I'll let you get back to your life. And I will answer the thousands of emails that I've gotten and then go home and cook some dinner for my wife and take my dog for a walk. Um, wait, if you haven't seen, uh, let me do this for the fun of it. Um, my wife and I have never had a dog before. And now we have Paolo. Here's Paolo. So just showing off. I'm a proud papa. That's what it is. I'm a dog dad. It's crazy. Uh, all right. So I got no other questions coming in. Um, let me just remind you that we have two websites right now. I'm going to also get this little bit of hair out of my way because it's making me crazy. We have two websites right now, zeroshoes.com and zeroshoes.eu. If you are in the EU, go to zeroshoes.eu. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, it is a mess. If you're um, in anywhere else, come to zeroshoes.com. We ship all around the world, except to places we're not legally allowed to ship. And if you uh, want to find stores that are carrying Zero Shoes, go to zeroshoes.com slash stores, or just go to Zero Shoes. And for either .com or .eu, click on the store locator link on the upper right-hand part of your screen and search for things that are near you. Viren G says driving shoes for the spring. Go submit that at zeroshoes.com slash feedback because that's how our product team knows what to do. By the way, you're the second person today who has asked for a driving shoe. And again, leave your, um, your thoughts about what makes a good driving shoe. And I have some suspicion about that, but definitely um, put that in there. So zeroshoes.com, zeroshoes.eu. In the spring, we're going to have one more website that we're very excited about launching that will help more people around the world um, live life feet first. And then we've got distributors all around the world who are jumping on board, more retailers who are coming on board starting in the spring. Um, there's a lot of things happening over here that we are crazily excited about. I'm not sleeping very much. Um, I, my wife and I took an anniversary vacation last week and man, it's been hard to come back from that. Um, but now I'm back in gear and, um, just, you know, we're getting amazing things done, both the product team, our marketing team, our customer happiness team. Uh, we're, we're really excited. And by the way, I want to apologize also for those of you who did take advantage of our inflation busting inventory adjusting. No, it's not a holiday sale where we moved our holiday sale up. We know that, A, it took a long time to get products out the door because, again, we did not expect to get hit with as many orders as we did, literally twice as many as we planned for. And same thing on customer uh, customer happiness team. They're still answering emails from a week ago because we got so many people contacting us. And I promise they will get back to you. We're hyper responsive. If you don't see – whenever you send an email to our customer happiness team, uh, you should get an auto response immediately back telling you, hey, here's what's going on. If it's an urgent matter, here's what to do. If it's a non-urgent matter, here's what to do. Here's how long it's taking us to reply. And um, hopefully um, that will be helpful. And if you don't see that email, check your spam or junk folder because pretty much every time someone has said that they didn't get something back, it was either because that email got lost. This is making me crazy. That email got lost in their inbox uh, or they actually um, sometimes used our contact form and typed in the wrong email address for their own email. So, all right, this is going to make me insane. So nothing else has come in. I just want to thank you all. It's always a pleasure to do these. We do this Ask Me Anything on the third Tuesday of every month, unless there's some crazy ass conflict. Um, and I'm just here to help you out, as is everybody on the Zero Shoes team. We want you to go out, have fun, and live life feet first. So until next time, be well and go live life feet first.